There are multiple ways to install mods right now in Cities Skylines 2. The easiest and most recommended would be to use the Thunderstore app. The other method is a little more hands-on, but not terribly difficult either. I'll walk you through both in this video. First, let's review how to install Thunderstore and how to use it to add mods to City Skylines 2. You'll start at thunderstore.io, link is in the description below. Click the Get App button in the big green Get the Thunderstore app banner at the top of the screen. This will open a new tab with a window that has a big orange download button. You'll click this and it'll download the installer to your downloads folder in Windows. Go ahead and open your downloads folder, double click on the installer file and it will open up the installer. Once it finishes installing, you'll see something like this. So what I want to do is add Cities Skylines 2. Just type in your game name. You can also scroll through until you see the game in the list. Hit select game. Now you can create a profile for your mods. I'll name this one, My Crazy Mods. Now that your mod profile is set up, click on the Select Profile button to open the My Mods view. You'll need to download mods before you can use them, so click on the tab that says Get Mods. First mod you'll need to download is Bepinex Pack. All other mods have this as a dependency. Click on the mod name, it'll open additional information. Simply click on the big blue Download button, which will bring up a version select, which you can generally ignore. Click the light blue download with dependencies button and it will finally download the mod. At this point, you'll want to review and download any mods you're interested in. Once you finish with that, we'll go back to the My Mods tab to activate them. So I currently have several mods installed and I've set up sorting here so disabled mods show last. Let me show you what that means in just a moment. First, as you can see, I have several mods activated on this profile, starting with Bepinex Pack all the way down to Dolphin Bay. Below these mods, there are additional listed that are marked as disabled. This means that I have the mod downloaded but not activated, and thus it will not function in game. To enable or disable mods is quite simple. Just click the toggle toward the right side of the mod list. If it's blue, it's enabled. If it's gray, it's disabled. Once you have all of the mods installed and enabled that you'd like to use, it's time to start up your modded game. Simply click on the blue button in Thunderstore that says modded and it will open the launcher. From here, hit play as you normally would from the City Skylines 2 launcher. Here's a freshly launched CS2 new game showing some of the custom maps that I installed through Thunderstore. Before we go any further, let's walk through how to install mods manually. Feel free to skip ahead with the chapter markers to the in-game footage of some of the mods I've installed. Now, I'd strongly recommend against installing mods via manual install, but in case you want to know how it works, here's how. The first thing you're going to need is the path to your City Skylines 2 game install. So if you're using Steam, right click on the game, choose properties, choose installed files, and you're gonna see this browse button that will open up in File Explorer your game install. Make sure to keep this open, you're going to need it shortly. First, you'll need to install Bepinex. I'll add the link in the description below. On the releases page, choose Bepinex 5.4.22. If you scroll down, you'll see the different assets available. If you're on Windows, you'll likely need to download the Bepinex X64 version. Click the link to download it. The other thing you'll need to download is any mods you'd like to manually install. So in this example, I'll use ducks in a row. To get to the manual download, you'll want to browse the available mods on the Thunderstore site. 
If you choose a mod, you'll see a details page. And on said page, you should see a link to GitHub. Go ahead and choose that link and choose releases on the right sidebar once you're on GitHub. Click on the mod to download it, as I do here with ducks in a row. Now that you've downloaded BepinX and any mods you want to install, you'll need to open your downloads folder and unzip all of the files. Once you've unzipped everything, make sure you have your game install location open. Make sure you see the Cities 2 application and icon as seen here. Then you'll want to copy and paste the BepinX files and folders into the City Skylines 2 install folder. Now, to install your mods, open the BepinX folder that now exists within your City Skylines 2 install folder. You should see another folder called Plugins. If you don't, you may need to launch your game and then quit. Open the Plugins folder and you can copy and paste your mods that you downloaded into this folder. That's it. It's pretty simple. There's no real downside to doing it this way other than just ease of use. So if you like to tinker, tinker away. Alright, so for demonstration purposes, I've built a small city and brought it up to about 13,000 on the population. Now let's take a quick look at some of these mods. First up, extended road upgrades. This adds additional road tools in the road services menu that allows you to convert road segments into key roads, barrier roads, tunnels, or bridges. Next up is Road Wear Remover, which removes those white lane markers from roads in-game. Now there are a couple of Line Tool mods I have installed. Ducks in a Row and Line Tool Light. Both allow you to quickly add lines, or other shapes, of trees, bushes, and other things to your map. Finally, Sim Behavior Improvements is installed, which is supposed to reduce the occurrence of high rent warnings throughout your city, among other things. And that's it. Happy modding, and don't forget to subscribe as I'll be highlighting some of my favorite mods or maps every week.